Welcome back to another St. Pius X Religious Formation video. This weekend's video is for January the 30th and 31st. And this is Dinah. She's decided to join us for today's video. Our essential question for lesson 18 is how do we pray? And we're going to explore that in a second. So as I said before, in lesson 18 this weekend, we're going to explore the essential question, how do we pray? We've been hearing about prayer, its definitions, and we've explored why we pray. But how we pray is just a little bit different. We hear that the Holy Spirit teaches us to pray several different ways. One, through prayers of petition. Two, through prayers of intercession. And three, probably our most prominent, it's through the liturgy itself. These days, there's no better time to attend Mass. We can do it online through our YouTube channel, where we can type in our responses and pray together. Or, if we're healthy and feel safe and comfortable, we can actually come to the physical building of the church and pray together in person. When we pray prayers of petition, we're asking God for something. Maybe we are worried about a test, maybe we're concerned about our relationship with a friend, or maybe we're not even sure, but we offer our thoughts and feelings up to God so God knows what we need and will respond if we're listening. When we pray prayers of intercession, we're asking for help for others. Maybe we pray for peace in the world, maybe we pray for those who are sick, like my friend Gracie Furluge. We know Gracie's doing really well this week. And maybe we're praying for people who have passed away, like my former teacher, Mr. Thomas P. Hunt, or a good friend of mine, Coach Wally Mueller. We ask that God keep these people in his arms and enfolded deeply in him so that they may be received with grace into his kingdom. And finally, of course, the more we pray in all of these different ways, the closer we grow to God in our own faith journey. I'd like to begin this week's announcements with a great big thank you to everyone who participated in last week's coat drive. Your generosity raised over 250 coats for the Croatian Relief Services. On behalf of Ante and his family who led the collection, I would like to say thank you again. Our next big service like this will be next weekend, which is the Super Bowl, S-O-U-P-E-R. We'll be donating all of the non-perishable food to the Montville Food Pantry, as we always do. Their request has been primarily progressive soups, as these are heartier than most others. But of course, any non-perishable food will be accepted, and you can drop that off in the narthex after all of our masses. I want to say thank you to the Sinella family for heading up this year's Super Bowl service. If you have anyone in your family who would like to come up with a good service and sponsor it, please let me know and we'll see if we can work something out. Another reminder is that we start re-registration. It's hard to imagine, but we really only have six weeks left of this year's program. So re-registration for the fall will begin on February the 7th, the day of the big game and it will continue through March 17th. Please help me get everything put together for our master schedule and so that I can order all the proper materials. As you know, these are challenging times for anyone in administration and with a small staff, we're seeing all the same challenges perhaps you're experiencing with the larger school district. Also, anyone who's in a sacramental year, this means our second graders, or our 8th and ninth graders. We have 
a couple of announcements for you. For the second graders, reconciliation has been scheduled and your days and times have been assigned. You can check with your catechist to get those. Those will all be in person and socially distanced to provide for maximum safety for our young people, their families, and for our priests. Father Mark has agreed to put together some events for our second graders on Tuesday afternoons, particularly some liturgies leading up to our reconciliation and first communions. So please keep an eye out and talk to your catechists for dates and times. For our confirmation candidates, our interviews will take place in April, May, and June, and we'll contact you to let you know when that's going to occur. I know currently our schedule says April 24th or 5th for interviews, but we cannot do 240 interviews in one day. So we will let you know when yours is going to happen. You do not need to contact the office. Of course, confirmation itself will be held in the fall in September, and that means hopefully that we'll be on the other side of the pandemic. So once we have more information about that, we'll communicate it to you. There'll also be a retreat experience for our eighth graders and for our ninth graders, and we're waiting for warmer weather to make that happen with the hopes that we could be in person in smaller groups and be outside. If not, of course, we'll have things done virtually. So we're a little bit up in the air on a few of those events, but things are coming into focus, certainly for our second graders. And that also reminds me that the Salesian Sisters called, and we will have April 25th as our second grade Jesus Day, which is the mini retreat, and our catechists will have the exact time. So please leave the morning open until about one o'clock if you are in second grade. Thank you. God bless. Stay safe, healthy, and definitely stay warm. Don't shovel too much this week. Thank you.